What's up guys, a bit of a PSA uh, to remind you to stay hydrated. Very important when working long hours. However, I did wanna show you a bit of a physics hack. You can try this at home. If you take a piece of cardboard or a coaster or anything and you lay it over top your pint glass, uh, the suction created by the water and the air inside the glass will sometimes, not always, will sometimes make the cardboard stick, which is kind of like magic, but not really. Uh, if you want to, if you want to do some actual magic, you actually have to take the cardboard off. Just like that. Anyways, welcome to today's video. I should probably clean that up. Okay. What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today, I'm quite pleasantly excited because I have received a puzzle box. And no ordinary puzzle box by any means. We are going to try and open this ancient looking treasure chest. This beautiful piece is handcrafted in India and is said to be a level eight puzzle, which is pretty trying. The whole idea is to figure out how it opens. There are 12 hidden compartments within this puzzle box. And the goal here is to open all 12 and then reassemble it back together again. This thing is very very heavy, it's made of solid wood, and it just looks great. It's something to put on the shelf, it's something to have as a conversation piece. Hopefully uh, this doesn't give me such a hard time that I end up smashing it, but regardless, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun trying to open this thing. There are several other puzzle boxes that look like this. This is a whole genre of puzzle boxes that are made to look like ancient Indian chests. Pieces come apart, they go back together again, there are hidden keys and things like that. All right guys, without further ado, let's crack it open. Okay, look at this beautiful piece of art. The reason I picked this up is because it looks so good. I mean, aside this, I, I do have a little bit of a do have a little bit of a crack here. I guess that happened during shipping. But aside from that, uh, the patina on this and everything else is meant for it to look old, and it looks like one of those ancient. Uh, sort of jewelry boxes. So they say this is a level eight. We will try and confirm that for you today to see how hard this thing actually is to get open. So first things first, we spin. <laughs> okay, nothing happened. Um, first thing, there was this here. This is a, seems to be locked. So I'm guessing that this compartment is the one uh, that we have to open. That being said, there are 12 compartments in this and they ask you to find all 12. So let's go, that's probably one. Uh, trying to see if, uh, if anything slides. Oh, okay. Here we go, this, this comes, oh, and that comes off. That's what the back of that looks like. Oh, look at this, here we go. This is what I wanted, this is what I've been waiting for. So that one's, that one seems to be locked. This one, this one is open. Let's, uh, let's put this aside. This one as well, so that's that there. So that's one, two, three, four, five compartments so far. This, oh, oh, hello. What do we have here? This is a key. I'm guessing this key goes in here. Before we do that, let's take out the other drawer here. Okay. This one still seems to be stuck. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. Um, now that, okay, that seemed to unlock another part. This is getting interesting. Check this out. Well, all right then. Okay. Okay, that's weird. No hinges on this. Um, I'm guessing this is kind of the same. No hinges here. How many compartments is that so far? One, two, three, four. What's that? Five, six, seven, eight. Let's see if these. Oh, okay. Okay, this. This is weird. This piece just came apart. <laughs> oh god, what is happening? <laughs> okay. And that, so that's, 
that's that. Not sure how many compartments that makes. Maybe we can count the number of doors. Maybe that'll help. That being said, does that mean this is now unlocked? It does not. And what about our little friend over here? Okay, so I figured out that this drawer links to this drawer. But how that opens, I do not know. There we go, we got it. Boom, so I guess you just had to tilt it. And then this seems to be the magic drawer. Uh, wow, okay. So all that work for there. So if you're ever looking to store something that no one will ever find, including yourself, you can put it in this drawer. Uh, cool. So let's count the doors here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten. And I'm guessing the other compartments. Let me just have a look here. I feel like, okay, so in here, Okay, because that goes all the way through. And up here, yeah, that's it. That seems to be it because the way this thing is made, there does not look like there are any extra compartments anywhere else and that is the puzzle in its entirety. Cool, all right. Well, it wasn't that hard. I definitely wouldn't consider that a level eight. Definitely like a six max. Cool nonetheless. Now we're left with all these pieces. Um, let's try and put this baby back together again, I guess. What, uh, this went here. Uh, these little hinge doors were on. I'm gonna say this is a bit of a pain in the butt, these pieces here. I, I really wish these were drawers instead of just pieces that fell apart. I mean, it kind of cheapens it a little bit in my opinion. I think that uh, they could have done a better job putting all that together. Because who wants to do this every time they open their drawer, you know what I mean? Unless, of course, it's something you never want to open, which I guess is also a possibility. So that goes in here. This hopefully just slides back in here. Yes, okay. That goes there. These pieces. Okay. Uh... Was it this one that goes here or the other? This one, this one goes here. Yes. Yes, okay. The key. And that is locked. Drawer here. Key in this drawer. Oh, open this one, doesn't really matter, I guess. This one goes, oh, that's the bolt. So I guess this one has to go in first. This will go back in here, back in here. Big drawer goes back in here, and I guess I gotta line up where that where that bolt goes. Kind of a, there we go. That is locked into place, and this now. back here and voila that is locked in there there you go there's the ancient indian uh treasure chest sort of uh, really cool looking thing um not so impressed with uh like honestly the fact that it's made by hand is really cool it's not machined anywhere which is super rare i really wish that they paid more attention to the actual puzzle solving aspect of it calling this a puzzle box i think is a little bit far-fetched i think Yes, okay, it maybe has a secret latch here and there, but you know, for all those doors and hinges to just fall off like that, I wasn't really impressed with that. I wish I didn't have to go through that ordeal. And I also wish that um, maybe there were more keys. Maybe if there was a key hidden somewhere else to open something else, and I think you could, this is a great idea. I just think you could really expand on it and make it that much better. Uh, I will not be storing anything in here. <laughs> uh, that being said, uh, something that looks nice on the shelf, looks rustic, it has that allure, that mysterious quality quality to it, it's quite heavy. So if you wanna buy it for something that looks good, a uh, little conversation piece, uh, definitely cool. Um, definitely not something you wanna try and solve on the bus. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed that puzzle. Uh, for me, 
My personal opinion is I'm not a big fan of the puzzle itself. I think it looks great and I think it has great potential. I think they could have elaborated a little bit more, especially for the price you're paying. This retailed at about $300 uh, Canadian. It's about $220, I guess. I am a big fan of these ancient looking puzzles because there is this mystique and mystery around it, which is really cool. However, uh, I didn't think it would be so easily solvable. I guess I'm just a genius, and so what can I say? <laughs> okay, maybe not. Pretty sure like a five-year-old could have could have opened that. Regardless, uh, if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this content, uh, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. And guys, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.